Well, there are several ways to be able to enter and recover our device. Because if you have a screen lock or have a forgotten Gmail account. In this video tutorial we are going to explain step by step how to recover it. Since the first thing we did when we forgot the screen lock we had. What we did was reset it, we formatted it. After we have restarted our phone and completely formatted it. A we were left with this little padlock that appears here. If that is your case, you reset your device and you have not been able to recover it. In this video tutorial we are going to explain to you step by step. How to recover it without using any PC. A totally PC free method. What are we going to do first of all, let's watch the step by step video tutorial. Since they always write to us that our video tutorials don't work for them. That's why, because you miss a detail from the beginning. You guys, uh, some functions that we disable are going to make mistakes in. They're not going to be able to solve it, I've said that, first of all, let's connect what. It is to a Wi-Fi network before starting the process and we are going to give it a tour. So that you can see that our device is completely blocked since it has a screen lock and also finally it has the Gmail account. Forgotten A. That said, we also have other completely different methods. We have left it in the video description and in the first pinned comment. We have those methods by PC and method without PC. Method by PC, method without PC, let's see. We're going to click here and we're going to connect to our Wi-Fi network. First of all we are going to connect our network and then we are going to give it the root. Well, we were able to connect to our network. Now we are going to get to where our device account is. The account lock screen also what is the Google account. As we had said, A. In this video tutorial we are going to use what is a different method than the previous one. We will be able to recover it, we always recommend to be able to. A. Recover your device. Watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial so you don't miss any detail and as we had said from the beginning of the video we left. Other methods in the video description and in the first pinned comment. When A here we can see this little padlock. This is the little lock that we are going to remove forever. We're going to delete it so we can access our device, A. Eh? When you get your phone back completely. I always recommend this, let's give it here where it says do not copy. I always recommend this, that we forget the screen lock. Okay, fine, we forgot the screen lock. But this here that says use my Google account. But forgetting the Google account is not acceptable since when. We created a Google account, it is always advisable to write it down in. A notebook for what so that when that happens that we forget the screen lock. We formatted our phone and when we restarted. We can add our account and password here. That way we can recover our phone using the email and password. If we had it, if we have it written down, we can now recover it and we will not go. Make this whole video totally complete a eh? another thing when you guys add a. A one is creating an email, a Google account. It is always advisable to add a phone number. As you can see here we can recover it by. Email number or phone number. We have two options to recover our device. It is also advisable to add a recovery email. But that recovery email can't be added here on this phone. That's why it's called recovery mail. We have to add it and on another device we will click here where it says forget Gmail. Here in forget Gmail we are going to write anything, we click on next. This would help us later to enable a function, we are going to give it here now. We're going to give it to him here, we're going to do it. Then we're going to do it and we're going to wait about 30 seconds. Until those 30 seconds have passed, we will do the following. 
Well, let's wait for those 30 seconds to pass here. We wait for those 30 seconds to pass. When those 30 seconds have passed, we will quickly return to the beginning. Being in start we will begin the recovery process of our device. As we had said from the beginning of the video. In the video description and in the first. Pinned comment we have left other additional methods. We quickly return to the beginning. Previously we could also enter directly from here. From the Talva we could use the Talva and we could enter. But these functions are no longer working. Using Talbat is no longer working the Talbat method. Here we could draw an L letter so we could enter our device. Now we can't get in, if we can't get in, but we're going to use here. We are going to give the emergency call and dial 911. We give him the emergency call and we'll see if he lets us in here. Let's see if he lets us in here, this is going to be quick. Let's see if he lets us in here. Yes, as you can see it lets us enter from this option. It now lets us in without having to use a blocked SIM car. In some cases, sometimes we can. Enter a blocked SIM car if it does not let you enter from there. Then you insert a locked SIM car. You go to emergency call you do the same process. We're going to hit it here where it says jump, we hit jump. Being here you will give a single click back. Well you're going to try again and you're going to log in again. You're going to do it again, let's hold it here, let's go back in. But we see that it lets us get to the option we want, ah, we select one. Here, any option is for us to enable this profile that appears here. That is the profile we need, we will give it here in adjustment. Then we will give it here where it says location. We are going to activate these notifications, I say notification, sorry. We're going to activate these notifications here, they're already activated. Now we click here where it says location, we click OK. Here we give accessibility, we enable this accessibility menu. We return here to Google's location setting, we will click on it. We will select it here where it says all, it will not appear here. Now you're going to hit it here in the three points. You will click on show system here, here the Google Play services will appear. Since those Google Play services appear here, you will click on the magnifying glass. You are going to write accessibility here. You are going to write sensitivity, if nothing comes out you will erase until I loaded you here, it loads you, you click on sensitivity, you will enable this menu. Accessibility you enable that accessibility menu you go back to. Back to back now being here you are going to write drums. Battery you are deleting and it appears you are going to select battery usage from the Apps you are going to select the option that is selecting you that is. It also says battery usage of apps. Now you will search for Google Play services here you. It will appear and you will disable these Google Play services. Now what you're going to do is restart your device, you're going to restart it. You're going to wait for your phone to reboot completely. To then finish and complete the recovery process. That's why it is always advisable to watch the video tutorial. Step by step so that you don't miss any details and can recover your device. As we had said from the beginning of the video tutorial in the description of the video and in the first pinned comment we have other methods totally different for those people who can also provide a solution and recovery. Your device. Let's wait for them to restart. We wait a few seconds for it to restart completely and when it restarts completely, we're going to do the following, now we're going to let it load. If it takes us now, we click here and it says accept and continue. We'll wait until it takes us where it tells us not to copy. Here he will take us to some function that he tells us. 
do not copy and from there is where we will be able to solve. We will be able to solve and recover our device. Let's wait a few seconds until it takes us to that function. Being already in that function we are going to culminate. The recovery process, you know. That's why it is always advisable to watch the video tutorial step by step too. That you don't miss any details and can solve this problem. Let's wait a few more seconds. We wait a few more seconds and from here we will wait for him. In some cases it sometimes happens that it goes around and around and doesn't work. If that is your case, it goes around and around and it doesn't work. Then you are going to do the following. First of all you don't have to have any SIM car entered in phone. Well here it gave me access, we're going to give it here, it says don't copy. Now the screen is blinking here like this. When you stay here you go back, you go back. But if it doesn't take you then you're going to click here to continue offline. If it keeps blinking like that then it returns to you and. When you are left blinking you return to this point. Now you will select the accessibility menu. We are going to click here, continue offline, we are going to wait for it to load. In some cases, this option is no longer loading in some securities. If that is also your case, it does not work anymore, try again. You click here, if it doesn't work then click again on the wizard. You give us apps here to see if it takes you to the same place, it doesn't take us either. So what we're going to do is give it visibility adjustment here in AC. We will give configurations here in this magnifying glass and we will write the same thing. Battery battery let's go let's go erasing it we give it here. The same option battery usage of the ass of the app here battery usage of the applications let's look for google play services here you are going to give it disable we go back gently back gently back 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 here do not have any face entered in phone you click here continue offline we give it continue offline but this is not over yet since when we have completely recovered our phone we click on skip here. Skip lock or pin, when we already give it now no. Now not when we get our phone back completely what? Let's do it, we are left with some errors, how do we correct those errors? I'll explain to you how you're going to fix it. Look how you're going to click here here they're going to stay they're going to stay. The screen goes down, yes it works, but up it doesn't work. If it works down below, then we go to adjustment, we go to adjustment. We go to settings here in settings we are going to look for the system option. We go like this here in system then we click here on reset here we are going to reset everything. This is so that when we restore our phone completely we would have a phone free of errors. We have to do this step no matter what. Because if we don't do it we will live with the phone with many errors. The locked screen not working properly. Apps will stop and the device will be very, very slow. So by doing this you will be able to solve it. What is the correct recovery of your device?